Bienvenido a Rusia, welcome in Rusland. Bienvenido a Rusia, welcome to Russia. This is Vera from Fiber Tours, and this video devoted to one of the most popular ways to explore the western part of Russia. It's a river cruise along the Volga River. Right now, we are boarding five star ship Mstislav Rastropovich, called after one of the greatest Russian cellist and conductors. We are heading to St. Petersburg, and on the way, we will see Uglich, Gorice, Kiji, and Mandragi. I wish us a great trip and a good weather. We are ready to depart. The length of this program is 12 days. Four days in both Moscow and St. Petersburg you will spend the five-star hotels carefully picked for you by Fiber Tours. Four days and five nights you stay on board of the ship visiting small historical towns. Another great feature if you travel with Fiber Tours is that group capacity is only 14 tourists and you will have a separate guide all tour program along. So such a cruise is a great opportunity to combine it all, explore Moscow and St. Petersburg on land and see small towns between them safely along the longest river in Europe. Mother ship Mstislav Rastropovich is luxurious for deck vessel built in Czechoslovakia in 1980, fully refurbished in 2009. There are spacious cabins on the ship, most featuring balconies. All cabins are outside with large scenic windows equipped with extended bathroom with shower stall and furnished with two separate beds that can be joined. Bedside tables, console mirror, chairs, wardrobe, TV, fridge, radio, telephone, hair dryer and safe. It's one of only a few with an elevator in private cabin balconies. to Moscow and saying hello to a great adventure ahead of us. You know, many people like cruising because it's a very slow-paced travel, very relaxing uh, vacation that you can take, uh, but I've seen the program, believe me, there is no time to rest. Well, if you're planning to participate in everything just like me. Uh, and this is another great thing about cruising. Along with a very intensive sightseeing program, there will be a great entertainment program on board, like themed evenings, dinners, folk shows, Matryoshka painting, master classes, and so on. Right now, we are off for a cocktail with the captain. So, see you there. show speech with the Russian toast for all times. Thank you. 
So dear friends, so we arrived in Uglich, weather is great, we are ready to explore this small town, but a very historical one, it was found in 937, but to be honest, all of the uh, details and the history we'll get from our local guide, who uh, we are is about to meet over there, um, usually tourist ships stop here for like three hours approximately and then we board the ship again and depart to um the next stop will be what mandrigi <laughs> um yes yeah, so let's go and uh, see what uglich uh, will show us it will be i do know for sure kremlin and the church of saint Dmitri on blood <laughs> Сколько стоит? 350. I want to get this one for my daughter. Very traditional one. Давайте за 300. 20. 300. 20. 20. Давайте за 300. 20. Триста. Двадцать. Триста. Сейчас Ой. As Dmitry was the last son of the ancient Rurik dynasty, his death got the country into the dynastic and political crisis uh, known as the time of troubles. Uh, people, you know, readily believe that Dmitry was alive and actually supported several false Dmitries who tried to grab the Muscovite throne. Uh, this church is the place where uh, Dmitry was buried. Uh, but after that, he was, of course, reburied in Moscow Kremlin at the Archangel's Cathedral, where all of the members of the Rurik and Romanov family are uh, buried. Um, and actually, Saint Dmitry, he, he was canonized and he was the first child in the Russian Orthodox Church who became canonized and he's the patron of all children. Oh! <laughs> 